I'm faced with a bit of a difficult choice here. I've got three 3D printers. One of them just wouldn't work at all. That's the Anet. Uh, and I've got the CR10 and the Anycubic i3 Mega. And I kind of, you know, I can keep one of them. But which one do I keep? Uh, the other problem is this is this room is known to my friends as the broken TARDIS and what I mean by that is this is smaller on the inside now uh, TARDIS 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 <laughs> yeah cute uh, but yeah this uh, this choice then is I've got to keep one of these two and the other one's got to go and uh, what have we got here oh Mr Tennant I'm sorry but your time is over mate I think it's my turn now there you go that looks better and at least he's got a proper screwdriver but anyway other than that uh, the, the choice is uh, do I keep the Creality CR10 or do I keep the Anycubic i3 Mega? The Anet has to go into the spare parts. I don't have to send that back. It's it's rubbish basically. Uh, but some people have made it work. You know, don't don't uh, don't dismiss it just on that. Some people have actually got the Anet uh, E10 to to print and uh, brilliant. Good luck on them. But I never got any joy with it at all. Too many problems. Now then. What I'm going to do is uh, go onto Thingiverse and that's where you can download lots of uh, 3D prints and things and uh, they're free as well, people put them on there for nothing. And on there they uh, have a small sort of calibration cube and this particular calibration cube has been made by iDig 3D Printing. So I'm going to download that and then set up both of these machines and get them to print out this calibration cube and we'll have a good look at it and try and compare which one is the best. The only problem there is I think they're equally as good as each other. Okay this one's a lot bigger as you can see uh, this one's a little bit more compact not too much but it's a little bit more compact and I do like the way all the electronics is built into the bottom here and things but other than that I get to choose one to keep. So let's do a 3D print and check them out. Right, the print is over and uh, both of the units did it in 26 minutes. So equally, they're as fast as each other. Okay, so that's not going to make me decide. Uh, how's about I check up the print, of course. That's what we're here for anyway, isn't it? Now, the uh, i3 Mega just printed directly onto its ultra base surface. Just straight on put it up to that camera can you see the bottom of that is it going to focus please focus there you go it puts that nice sort of ridge effect on the bottom there but uh, yeah no preparation just away you go it just prints straight onto that bed it's brilliant every now and again you're supposed to clean it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol there's a, a few sort of uh, noggins hanging off that but uh, not bad and this I've already loosened it off, made its little raft before it printed. Unfortunately, this was behind this one because the raft gave way because I hadn't put enough sticky onto here. So yeah, you do need a, a bit of preparation with the uh, CR10. So that was my fault. So I was a little bit behind there, but still it only took 26 minutes. So I'll just break this off here 
and uh, to be honest with you just by looking at it the Corality CR10 looks like it's done a slightly better print let me hold that back up there again if you can see okay the Creality is the sort of purple colored one and the i3 mega is the black one uh, yeah there's a, a little bit of the hot snot dripping away here but I think that will break off Zeds look the same yeah they look they both look good but the Creality CR10 just beats it I'm afraid it feels a little bit smoother and I think I got all the settings right a lot of this 3d printing depends on your settings but this black stuff just breaks off quite easily you can just break it off with your nail so if this comes oh yeah it comes away easily aha now let's look at them again now I've done that up to the camera wait for you right the X's look fine the Z's look fine the Y's look fine you see now I've just uh, broken those small pieces off with my nail now the i3 mega one looks better than the Creality one ah, this is a difficult choice now the uh, Creality CR10 is 300 by 300 by 400 that's the print area which is huge really and the Anycubic i3 mega is 210 by 210 by 205 millimeters tall so yeah it's a lot smaller but I'm only really interested in making things like this volume caps knob caps and things these are supposed to be 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters square it's close it's so close what do i do do i keep the creality or do i keep the i3 mega so there you go i've just printed a synthesizer knob to sort of match that one it's uh it's close put it up to that camera not bad for a first attempt yeah it's a little bit rough but uh most of the detail is there it's not exactly the same but it was a quick design on fusion 360 and actually didn't take me that long to do so yes the possibility of making synthesizer bits and pieces is just what I want to do and I don't really need to go much bigger than that or that as I said earlier but I'm still stuck with which one do I keep how's about I've got the cubes in the bag shake them around and say I will keep the i3 mega hmm mm. and best out of three the i3 mega best out of five best out of seven i know if i shake these two like dice whichever one lands on the y for yes that's the one i can keep oh come on you're joking oh please Oh <laughs> well if you uh, if you like that video please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if possible that always helps and uh, I'll have something coming along sometime soon if you can help me make my mind up please let us know in the comments below uh, because one has got to go and one can stay all the best thanks very much for watching bye bye no best out of 3718 Best out of 6,317.